back on the Gulf and it is time to start catching fish. Fall is here finally, summer's over. The temperature is starting to drop just a little bit. It's 92 degrees today instead of 99 to 102. You know, that's what it's been being the last few times I thought about coming out here. <laughs> fish don't bite well in that hot weather, but that's a pretty good drop in temperature. The mornings have been in the 70s, low 70s. So the water temperature should start to drop and the fish start being a little more aggressive and a little easier to catch. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, we got a perfect tide. It's incoming right now, and in a couple hours it'll be dead high, so we're going to fish that incoming tide. Going to do what I love to do, and that's throw this little crankbait, throw my spoon, the stuff that always works. And uh, I don't think I've told you all in videos before, but these hooks sucked on these plugs. These are a KVD crank wake bait. And this color right here is a redfish killer. They come with little treble hooks that just break apart when you're catching reds because they're made for fresh water. And also, they swallow them terribly bad. It takes forever to get a hook out of a redfish and make it survive. You got to be real careful because they swallow the whole plug. You can't even see it anymore. And if that treble hook goes down in their gut, it's basically a dead fish. So if you're going to use these, I recommend switching to these little single hooks because no matter how far they swallow those things you can stick your pliers right in there and pop it out without hurting the fish and get a safe release on him and since you can only keep one red a person it's a pretty safe bet that you're going to want to catch more with the plug if you're having a good day so it's best to be able to safely release them so i've switched all of these plugs that i got to the single hooks these are two watts that way we can keep the fish alive a little bit better because i hope i catch more than one because that's all i can keep the spoons are always great some days these don't work as good as the spoons we're just going to see what they're hitting today hopefully we have a good day i brought a whole bunch of rods today with a bunch of different stuff tied on because you just never know what you're going to need but i feel like this is going to do it and i'd rather have rods with stuff tied on so i can just grab the rod instead of retying shiny the paint comes off of these really easy and back during the spring when me and Colton was coming out here and just killing the reds, these plugs would be plumb silver by the time we got done with them. Hope we can have a day like that. The tide is just now starting to come in. Still pretty low, but that's one good thing about these plugs is they don't go but like three inches under the water. So this low tide will not affect me at all. There he is. That's a baby though. I thought I hit that oyster bar right there. That's on the spoon. And it is a red. He's just not quite a keeper. Maybe I gotta go in the creeks. Struggled a little bit so far. Just came up in the mouth of this creek thinking about running up in it, see if they're in here, and got one right in the mouth of it. So. Just a little boat guy. Oh. The chartreuse spoon right on the end of that grass point. Feisty little guy. Got one. Oh, there he is. Yep, they're in the creek. <laughs> That's a lot better fish. Spoon. I love spoons. That's definitely a keeper. But not a very big one. We'll probably let him loose since we can only keep one. And that was two in a row. He ain't even any bigger than the other one. He just hit a little harder. He's actually pretty dang small. Be a small red kind of day. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spots. That's pretty awesome nine spotted red maybe I'll get a bigger one right here mm -hmm. there he is on the plug too that's the crankbait. Heck yeah. 
It's not been as good today as I was hoping, but maybe it's about to turn on. That's a netter. Probably our keeper. Let's see, according to how big he is, I ain't gonna keep one unless he's 24 around. He might be that. Nah. Right on the grass point. I think all of them I've caught have been on grass points. Oh, he's not a bad one at all. Feisty. That is a decent redfish on the crankbait. You see, that's the first bite I've got on that crankbait today. It's been pretty slow so far. And I hooked him with them single hooks perfectly. I did not think it affects the hookup ratio at all. Beautiful 22 inch red. I am gonna turn this one loose. It takes about a 24 inch red to get two good fillets for a dinner, so. Especially since I can only keep one. He's a nice one though. Nothing too special, just a good little slot red. On the old crank bay. Look at that. He knocked the paint clean off of it. The paint on these things suck. Hit it right there. I'll stop moving the trolling motor. He's not a big one. Another little guy. But the bite's picking up. Hopefully. I caught two in a row earlier and then there was a long gap and now there's two pretty close. Another little puppy though. Apparently a lot of these guys hanging around. Easy release. Was that number four? Nothing big though. Nothing real great at all, but four redfish. Oh. Oh, something big just smacked the bait fish right there. And I'm, oh, there's a fish. Well, I was talking about that fish that just hit the grass line over there. Spoon got chomped on. Bet that was big red. It, I mean, it hit the top hard over there. This is a good one too. Nope, it's not. It's a baby. He's saying that and then pulling in these little baby dudes. Red number five. Bunch of rats. But it's fish though. Can't complain about catching fish. This is five more reds than I caught last time I was out here. I want to get to that shore where that big one just smashed the top at. I mean, it sounded like something hitting a topwater plug over there. Bait fish scattered everywhere. There he is. Yep. Oh, my drag's loose. Why is that loose? There we go. He's not that big, I don't think. Nope, not that big. But another red. Oh. He's probably a keeper size one. He's probably 18. Doesn't look like I'm gonna keep one today by the looks of it. Bunch of little small guys. Okay, he might be a little under 18. Thanks for biting, fella. Okay, okay. Feisty. Still small. <laughs> hey. Get in the boat. Number seven. 
Well, guys, it's time to call it a day. They made me work for it. The bite is better. I caught seven reds. Nothing big, though. Biggest was, what, 22? And uh, the rest of them were pretty small. But I caught seven reds on artificial, and that is seven more than I caught last time I came out here. So it's definitely getting better. They're making me work for it, though. It was pretty tough. I had to move around a lot. The reds were scattered for the most part. I'd catch maybe two in a little 100-yard stretch, but that would be about it for a little while until I found some more. But you know what? It's going to get better, like I said before. The little spoon put in some work today. Caught us some little old puppies. A lot of these probably were 18-inch reds, but since I can only keep one, I really wanted one closer to 25, and that just didn't happen. So, bunch of releasers today. Hope y'all like the video. Thank you for watching.